action. Guess who's back, folks? Spidey Presents. Yes, I'm finally back with a brand new movie reveal. I know y'all been saying, where in the hell have you been for the last three weeks? Well, I decided to lay low because basically there was so much fighting going on here between Mr. Myers, Penny, uh, Butcher the Clown, you know, and it was just crazy here in the podcast studio. So I had to get away, lay low, so to speak. And basically, uh, it was very refreshing. I got the podcast studio and the house all to myself tonight. So I decided to come back and do a movie review. Movie review. Learn how to talk, Spidey. <laughs> got it. You got to just, uh, just, you know, I'm getting old. So, you know, if, I'm, if I fumble some of my words, just ignore me completely. I'm just senile. <laughs> anyway, so finally I'm back. and I'm going to try to be doing some more movie reviews in the next couple of weeks. Try to uh, stage a comeback, so to speak. So anyway, we're going to talk about one of my favorite movies of all time. And I know you're all going to go, oh my God, why is he reviewing this movie? It's sleazy, but I like it. As many of you know, I like all types of movies. I like, uh, you know, some action thrillers, sci-fi, horror, westerns, old classics, you know, stuff like that, Bogart, Bacall, you know, all the great actresses, actresses and actors from way back, all the way up to maybe about the 1980s, you don't know, I kind of like today's movies too, but I kind of like the older movies better, I don't know why, maybe because I'm just old and, you know, crinkling up and ready to fall apart, that could be one of the reasons. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm two minutes into this review, and, and I haven't said a damn thing about my movie. Well, that's okay. I got 15 more minutes or so to kill. What do you think about that, huh? Anyway, before I start the movie review, I want to dedicate this podcast to Janelle. Thank you, Janelle, for being a friend. Ah, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> she won't care. She'll go, oh, fuck, I don't give a shit. And, yeah. They don't even know who the fuck I am. Okay, never mind. I always did. I used to dedicate to this one girl, but, well, she turned out to be a complete asshole. So I went to Janelle instead. Somebody I actually work with, and I know she's a little nicer. Anyway, forget about that shit. That's all water under the bridge, so to speak. So my suit is falling apart. Look at that. Spidey's getting fat. I'm getting fat, folks. I'm going to pull my mask down a little bit. All right, that's better. Anyway, we're going to talk about uh, a movie from 1972, a John Waters classic, one of his very early movies. I know a lot of you are trying to guess what it is, but it's kind of a sleazy one, but it's kind of fun. It's actually really a stupid-ass fucking movie, but it's fun. It's Pink Flamingos. See, look at that cover. How do I get that damn glare? Goddamn glare. I think you can see it a little bit right there. There it goes. Not too bad. Pink flamingos. A little close up right there. I think you got the gist of the cover, don't you? It's not. It's just a basic DVD. It's not really. Uh, it's got decent picture quality and uh, soundtrack and you know stuff like that. So it's not a bad movie. Not a bad uh, uh, reproduction, so to speak. From the original master or whatever. This could be from the original master. I'm not sure. You have to talk to John Wal Walter Waters about that. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I like John Waters a lot. I think his movies are very unique. You know, from this one, to, you know, Polyester and all the other ones he's made over the last 30, 30 years or 40 years or whatever. Uh, I like his choice in movies. He's kind of sleazy, but you know something? I like it. It's funny. He makes funny movies. You know, a lot of them are serious, but they have a lot of creepy, uh, a creepy sense of humor in them. Uh, really, really super campy dialogue. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like these guys are reading it from a script right on, you know, you know, like, oh my God, can't you just ad lib the, the, uh, <laughs> it's terrible, man. Uh, anyway, dialogue is really cheesy, extremely cheesy in this movie. I mean, it's. I think John Waters basically likes to do that. Uh, so they're kind of campy, cheesy, uh, really creepy uh, uh, plots and stuff like that. 
But anyway, polyester, like I said, came out in 1972. I'm not sure if this, I think this is, he already did a couple movies before this, maybe. But he's done a whole bunch after that. He's also a director, a producer. He's been, he's actually been in movies himself and, you know, in TV shows and stuff like that. But he mainly concentrates on movies and stuff like that, you know. I think the guy makes really good movies. I like John Waters a lot. Anyway, this movie really basically, the, the plot centers around two families. Divine's family, and she's her name is Babs Johnson in this movie. And she lives in a trailer park. <laughs> it's a tra <laughs> it's a really run down piece of shit, man. You know, and it's just funny as hell. She lives with her mother, her friends, her sister. I don't know. There's like three or four people live in this trailer, man. On the outskirts of this little town. I'm not even sure exactly where it was filmed <laughs> uh, and her mother's always in a goddamn crib inside the trailer house eating eggs i don't know i don't she eats like a dozen or two eggs every day that's how she survives she she look she looks like she wears baby clothes too i don't know man it's weird as hell anyway the story really about around uh, let me let me learn how to talk here She's battling another couple in the town who consider themselves the most sleaziest, grossest people on the face of the earth. Now, I'll tell you what their, their shtick is. Their shtick is it's a husband and wife team, right? Uh, the Marbles, whoever you want to call them. I think that's their last name. And basically what they do, they kidnap women off the, young women off the street, and they, they, uh, they basically held them hostage in the basement and they have a sleaze ball that works for them. They get some pregnant. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I'm kidding you. It's fucking weird, man. Uh, actually, I watched the whole thing from start to finish in one take. I thought it was actually pretty funny and decent. Anyway, and they have the sleaze ball that works for them. That he basically gets the young women pregnant. And once the young women have the baby, they the the marble uh, the husband and wife team sell them on the black market. The baby from the black market. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Uh, they're really sleazy, man, and they're just disgusting. Their dialogue is really terrible, by the way. <laughs> it's just like it's like they're they're read from cue cards or something, man. It's just and they're supposed to be really stupid sounding and really campy uh, type vocals and stuff like that. And uh, it's 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 actually works. It actually works. And and Divine and her family do the same exact thing. And everybody in the town that they come in contact with the sheriffs and all the people around the surrounding area, you know, where the marbles and Babs and lives with her family and stuff like that. It's actually pretty funny. I, I kind of like it. I, I don't know if John Waters deliberately made him kind of like vocalize like this, but it's actually, <laughs> I might have to watch it again. It's a pretty cool movie, man. It's a pretty cool movie. Anyway, let me give a goddamn, ah, ah. I think my mask is slipping down. Or I'm just, my fat is pouring out. I don't know, man. I'm not really too sure. Anyway. There's the back of, back of the cover. I know you really can't see this too well. Uh, there it is. I think that's the, the, the Marble Clan. Actually, she has a, Babs has a son that lives with her too. He's really stupid. The whole family is just fucking stupid, man. Oh, my God. There it is. Right, front cover again. It's got like Edith Mad Massey in there. He has Glenn uh, Missel. What how do you pronounce that guy's? Millstead. Unfortunately, he died. Divine died in 1988 at the age of 42, which is really kind of sad. He probably would have made a whole. He was a drag queen, by the way. Divine is a drag queen. Probably a lot of you don't know that if you don't follow stuff like this. And uh, he was very successful as an actor. Not only as a straight actor. A drag queen TV shows, movies, stuff like that. Divine. Glenn. We'll just call him Glenn. And unfortunately, he passed away in 1988 from uh, sleep apnea or something like that. I'm not even sure. Died in his sleep or something. I'm not even sure what that is. You'll have to look it up on Google or something like that. 42 years old. Pretty young to die. But he was quite a bit overweight. But he was actually a good actor. Uh, he made a great drag queen. He, You know, he starred in a lot of movies for John Waters and other people too so he played some straight roles too so you know he he was kind of like uh he ran the whole smorgasbord of different type of acting uh, things like that I, did that make any sense i don't know if that made any sense I, i'm out of it tonight folks my nose is all funky and 
I'm sweat like a pig under my suit. <laughs> anyway, it has a lot of really good people in it, man. Well, typical John Waters cast. He works with a lot of these people consistently over the decades and stuff like that. So basically, you know, they're like staple actors for him. And I'm sure they've been in lots of other movies too, of course. You know, they, they all have careers. I'm not even sure. Uh, some of them might be gone by now. They're probably around my age or something like that, 67 years old. So, you know, but they're all entertaining. You know, they all do a good job. They do exactly what they're supposed to do in the movie. The, no matter how campy and stupid sounds, they're still going to do it anyway. Because that's how John Waters wants it done. And I think they kind of like doing that too. So, anyway. You know, it's got, it's got a lot of weird characters in this movie besides the marble the Sleaze, husband and wife, Sleazy couple, uh, Babs and her family and stuff like that. And there, there's this party they have at the, at the trailer park. Or it's not really a trailer park. It's just they live on the outskirts of town on this little country road or something, you know, outside the main junction of town or whatever. And they're having a party. <laughs> and they're, they're all naked and nude and stuff like that. It's, it's actually... It's pretty fun. You got to see it. I can't explain the whole thing. You gotta, actually got to watch the movie from start to finish to understand what I'm talking about. Uh, it's goofy as hell. I, I like this movie a lot, folks. You know, I like I said before, I like John Waters' movies, man. He just, he reminds me of David Lynch and all these really independent type actors who make these really non-mainstream type movies that appeal to a certain type of... Uh, movie viewer you know they're they're never going to make billions of dollars like star wars or you know lord of the rings and those type of movies or your know, avatar whatever it doesn't matter these movies are actually more entertaining than those movies i think because those movies have like you know 30 40 100 200 million dollars packed into them this probably only he probably only made this for like a million bucks or something like that you have to check the stats again <laughs> anyway, only got about six more minutes on this uh, web uh, podcast. I should call it podcast, but it's uh, it's nice to be back, you know. And uh, the studio's looking good. And Penny has some incredible news. He's got a new website that's going to be debuting on the internet in the next few days or week. He's got the first page done. It looks pretty cool. We're going to come back and talk about that. We're going to have everything on that uh, uh, new uh, internet site. You know, my videos, Leatherheads, Penny's videos, photos. Uh, we'll talk more about that next time. Maybe I'll just make a podcast and uh, address that. But it's going to be pretty cool. We're kind of tired of YouTube because they kind of censor Penny and butcher a lot. You know, you got to be 18 plus to watch their videos because they said a lot of bad words in those videos. Woo! <laughs> But forget about that. Let's get back to the movie. Anyway, I don't know what more I can say. There's a lot of scenes I just really can't address right now. You're going to have to watch the movie. But, you know, you kind of get sucked into this movie. It's one of those movies where you kind of watch it at the beginning and go, God, this is goddamn fucking weird, man. I'm not sure if I want to watch this. But then it's only about an hour and 45 minutes long or something like that. But you kind of get sucked into it. You kind of just keep watching and go, you know, this is really stupid, but it's actually quite entertaining. It's entertaining, man. Entertaining. Oh, I gotta start looking up for it. What's like, going on with this webcam, man? Nah, let's put it like this. Yeah, let's put it like this. All right, that's. I think that's a little better. I do think so. Anyway, I'm looking pretty good tonight. Got my old suit on. The colors are kind of just a pulsing out nice reddish blood color orange blood color i don't know <laughs> yes a lot of people accuse me of being uh campy and stupid and everything spidey but you know i enjoy movies you know that's really one of my main pastimes is buying and watching movies things of that nature you know and uh you know there's a lot of movies i just won't watch you know i i, I kind of like a certain criteria of criteria of movies and i kind of like i'm kind of stuck in that criteria hey i used the word criteria how about that 
without fumbling it up. Oh my God. Well, we only have about three or four minutes left in this video, so we'll just try to recap about uh, the Pink Flamingos movie. Uh, what more can I say? You know, I, I don't know. I think about other things to say. <laughs> I don't know, folks. I don't know. I gotta pull this mask down again. Oh my god, this these fucking these goddamn spidey suits are fucking hotter than a mother shit, man. It's like you're in a goddamn like volcano or something, man. It's just getting boiled to death. <laughs> anyway. Oh, what else can we say? I don't know if I wanna tell you more about this movie or something. I think you should just watch Pink Flamingos and judge for yourself. But like I said, oh, and okay, let's talk about the end. Now, the ending, she does, her and her family do kill the marbles at the end. They execute them in the, in the woods or something, you know, with, with firing squad, so to speak. So that is true right there. And at the very end, when she, her and her family are on the lam, they're trying to get out of the town because they just murdered two people. So they got their... They're being sought for murder, of course, divine and her family. And so they actually win the filthiest uh, uh, award in the world by uh, killing uh, Mr. and Mrs. Marble, <laughs> whatever, whatever they are. Anyway, just before the, the movie ends, a dog poops on the sidewalk. And divine, it is true, folks, divine picks it up and puts eats it. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you that. It's true. You know, it's actually true. It's actually true. It's it's like one of those weird things that the censors kind of go, oh, come on. Are you serious, man? It's According to John Walters, it, it actually is real. It's not a fake poopy on the sidewalk. <laughs> so we'll drop that right there. But it does happen at the very end of the movie. So be warned. Be warned. You know, it's not a really bad scene. It's just 15 seconds or something like that. Don't worry about it. It's very, it's, it comes at the very last frame of the movie before the, the credits start to roll and they get in their car and, you know, s speed off to Mexico or something, you know, the family, you know, or whatever it is. So we'll drop that part, but it is true. So there's the movie again. You know, during the movie, there's really not too much sleazy stuff going on. That, that ending part is really the only part that kind of will freak people out a little bit. But, you know, just forget about it. It's it's stupid. doesn't make any sense. But I don't even know why they did that. John Waters did that. <laughs> it's stupid. It's actually more stupid and funny than it is, like, gross. Maybe it is gross. I don't know. There's a movie again. Oh, yeah. Pink Flamingo starring Divine. So we're going to end this uh, movie review. <clears throat> I got to rate it. And, uh, you know, I hope I hope I did a decent uh, review this movie. You know, I don't do a lot of research on movies, but, you know, mainly because I watch them. So, basically, I don't go into the internet files and check out every single actor or when it was produced, how much it made, stuff like that. Not too, not too often I do that. So, we're going to rate this movie. I think, I think this is a fair movie. I think, I think an 8 rating is pretty good. 8 spider webs for this movie. I can't quite go 10 because it's really stupid, but it's a good movie. I love it. It's very entertaining. I think it's entertaining. <laughs> We're going to go eight spider webs on Pink Flamingo from 1972. Yes, eight spider webs. I think that's a fair rating. A lot of people might give it like a two rating because it's stupid and gross, but I gave it an eight because I think it's a very entertaining movie, stupid and entertaining and fun to watch. So until next time, we will see you. Actually, this we'll see you next time. I'm not sure what I'm gonna review next time. I'll come up with something that's really interesting. So until next time, take care and watch for my next movie review. Thank you. Bye bye.